she was making noises and she was getting louder and louder and her parents didn't know what she wanted, bless their hearts, and they were so frustrated and she got louder and louder and people in the audience started to look and it got so frustrating and then the minute that they said, well, let's go outside in the hallway, the, the young woman in the wheelchair was thrilled and, and what they discovered was that she needed to use the restroom and if you think about if you were somebody who was in a wheelchair and needed to use the restroom and had no means of telling anybody that, you couldn't gesture um, to, to tell them how frustrating it would be. And one of the things that I was the saddest about was the family never came back. The show hadn't started yet. I know how expensive those tickets were. And I know they were there early because they wanted to enjoy it and the show was incredible. And they missed it because they were afraid of something like that happening during the show, I'm sure, and they were exhausted from what they'd gone through before. But if there had been functional communication, th that could have all been avoided and she could have enjoyed the show. So we really need to stress that please don't ever, if, if an expert comes to you and says, we want to do the PECs, I know as a parent you go, oh, no, um, but I really want speech. Remember, the studies show that PECS is a great way to get to speech. And, and don't ever block someone from having a form of communication because it's not the form of communication you dreamt of. Communication is so important. Start with where you are, and you can work and grow on that. So PECS, it's a really important thing.